Me and my family got this old RV with a plan to bring it back to life and start living a slower, simpler life. It only cost 2000 euros and the buying process was quite an adventure in itself so make sure to watch the first video of this journey as well. Now we have a similar budget for renovating it and for sure there will be some challenges on the way but that's what makes this journey even more interesting. So this is what the car looks like right now from the inside. The condition is okay and it doesn't look that bad. But it's just fully white and the floor is basically the only thing we really like. There are a lot of things to change to make it nicer and more functional. We have no experience in renovating cars or pretty much anything. But we know that with time and effort we can make this look way better. We start to remove things from the car and basically we are getting first rid of these rope thingies and then just <laughs> kind of destroying everything to make the space that we can then later on build new stuff that we like on top. This RV doesn't have a toilet or shower and that's actually a good thing space-wise because we don't even need them. We can wash ourselves in lakes or camping spots and stop at gas stations. Also, our plan with this is not to move into it full-time, but part-time, so not like jumping into the deep end straight away. After removing everything, we were ready to take all the extra parts to a recycling center and start our renovation process full of excitement. But our beloved RV had other plans. The battery had completely died during the winter and didn't even turn on with the jumper cables, so... We had to go to buy a new one from all these hundreds of options. Yeah, took a while to find the perfect one. But eventually we made it and the car turned on. Before going to the next step, we cover the floor and all the windows to avoid any paint splashing into places we don't want it. We want to create a cozy, natural atmosphere inside the car. So we opted for earth tones, specifically shades of brown and darker green. If you are new to this, like we are, our advice is to start small. Don't jump into a huge project without any experience. Begin with manageable tasks and build your skills and confidence from there. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will our RV. We believe that it's the little things that bring a space to life and want to ensure that no part of the car is left untouched. We are carefully painting even the little cracks. One particular challenge we encountered was the ceiling wallpaper that didn't align with our desired style. While we realized it would have been more logical to remove it before painting the walls, we were initially uncertain about the alternative. For now, we are painting it white and in the upcoming months, so probably after this video is already out, we are going to create some art there. We went to IKEA to get some inspiration for the new design and got immediately a new kitchen table. And we had never used this sauce before, so a completely new skill unlocked there. The over cab part is quite small and not ideal for us, so we are making a new bed from scratch. And that part we will use as storage since we don't have it too much otherwise. 
As we are building things, we are really learning while we are doing. We have spent a lot of time googling stuff to get ideas and tips, which has been helpful, but it's a wild ride of trial and error. We are testing out different ideas with the mindset, let's see if this works. Overall, the renovation process takes dedication and willingness to learn and adapt. Now we are building a third seat here and basically there's already the seat belt kind of attached to the floor so we are not taking that off would be too big process so we are just building a seat around that basically and all of these things we are by the way doing in like a municipal community space we pay a small fee basically to use the tools and the electricity there and it has been a really nice place to get help and learn how to use all of these things. The last thing we are building is a little bit more storage room and kind of hide these electrical things that are there. So this green cabinet here. And then of course it's time to clean everything and remove this thing from the floor that has been there for a couple of months almost now. One of the most important lessons we have learned is the significance of checking and fixing all the mechanical stuff first, as one of our viewers pointed out in our first video. Trust us, it's better that way before setting any sort of budget, because we exceeded our own by like a thousand euros, but of course it's worth it for a safe journey ahead. The day we finished the renovation process, my plan was to film this all and post this video. But immediately the next day, we wanted to already start traveling and we headed for our first trip. So now while I'm filming this, we actually traveled already almost 10 days with this car. And I have to say, it is amazing. It's so cozy to stay inside. All these colors, all these things that we built here just make it really feel like home. As you can probably see, I am very satisfied with the end result. Like how without any experience we could go from very basic looking to something this amazing. I think the best part of this renovation process was the teamwork that we put into this and I can't wait to start traveling more with it. If you haven't watched the video yet of how everything got started, make sure to watch this video next. Remember to stay kind and meaningful in your own beautiful journey. See you in the next one.